I would like to welcome you all in our live session every Saturday. We come at 12 p.m. I am so sorry. I think we are late by five minutes today. So we are going to discuss uh, an, another interesting topic today, which is the power of real estate. So I was thinking uh, when a new immigrant comes into this country or anybody who wants to come and establish in Canada, what could be the tips which I can offer them either as a new immigrant or even if you are established here, but you are still trying to find out the way to become successful in this country. So I was trying to correlate it with my own situation. And when I came into this country, of course, I had a lot of aspiration. I wanted to be successful. Uh, it was altogether a new landscape for me. There were so many questions, concerns, hesitations. So, you know, my mind was boggling. I was wondering in first few weeks, either it is a right decision or it is a wrong decision. Uh, a very small town boy who came in this country when he was 29 years of age with a lot of aspiration and wanted to really, you know, do a lot in the world. Started with a very humble beginning. I'm just trying to uh, give you a live, a live example to whom you know personally. So I'm sharing my story with you so that maybe some of us can get encouragement and motivation to understand the power of real estate. So I came from a middle-class family and landed as an immigrant in Canada in 2003. Very soon I realized that, of course, if I establish a good business, I can live a good life. But if I want to go into that elite category, if I want to go to that class where people have high dreams and they want to help others to become successful. I have to understand the power of real estate. I have to learn making an investments. So back in 2010, when I started SaveMax, by the time I realized this, and I started making investments in the real estate industry. So I also invested in multiple properties. We launched SaveMax in 2010, which is one of the fastest growing real estate brands operating with 16 franchises all across Canada. And we are planning to work on the theory which McDonald's they bring, and we will be trying our level best to buy real estate for all our franchises as well. Of course, I have a little different dream than McDonald's. I want my franchises, I want my team members, I want everybody to come and succeed with me. I will show you some recent developments which we have done. We have developed Kennedy Clarence, which is 37,500 square feet commercial space in the heart of Brampton. And we successfully completed that $12 million project in two years time. And this was the time when we bought that land in 2008 and 2009. This was a world class recession. And I was only a couple of years in this country because I landed in 2003. And we did this project in 2008, we bought the land and 2009 and 10, we did the development over there. So this is the Kennedy Clarence Plaza, which is one of the busiest location in Brampton at this point of time. Then we are bringing up an, another recent development, which is Save Max Tower. It is a six story state of the art, gold lead certified executive building in heart of Mississauga, close to 401 and 407. This building is in the close proximity to Microsoft, Samsung, GlaxoSmithKline, and Amazon. It will be the first building in Mississauga to have a helipad of its own on the top. So we want to create this building as a landmark in Mississauga. So this is going to be something which people will talk about that, oh, I have to go to the building, to the Save Max Tower, which has helipad on top of it. So that is what the dream we carry. It is well accepted and appreciated by city of Mississauga as well. And it is currently under development. This is the beautiful picture of the Save Max Tower, which we'll be presenting you very soon. And you can see a nice little machine on top of this building, which is going to be land on that beautiful state of the art helipad, which we are going to put up on top of that building. 
these are few of the architectural drawings and renderings of Save Max Tower, which is in progress and it will be a reality very soon. Now guys, let's talk about investing in real estate. Last couple of sessions, this was a topic of discussion. And this is what I want to emphasize. And I want to show people the power of real estate investment, that how real estate can change your life. Just imagine, I, I can absolutely understand some of us might be uh, uh, doing high-end jobs where we are making $200,000, $300,000 annual salary. Uh, there are a few people who are in the small business or doing the big business. But it really doesn't matter how big business we run. Of course, business is there to, to create a good cash flow and to help us to live our day-to-day -day life in a luxurious way. But if you have an aspiration to become rich, if you have an aspiration to become a millionaire, you have to understand the power of investing in real estate. So real estate produces us high cash yield, equity built up. It gives us a lot of leverage. Of course, it's a hard asset and we get a lot of tax advantage by investing in real estate. Whereas as compared to stocks, bonds, and keeping cash in pocket does not bring you those kind of returns, does, does not give you that liberty to multiply your money, and that too with the safety and security. Now, before I take you to the interesting example, a real life example of one of our clients, and I will show you when he started investing in real estate. I just picked up one example from his portfolio to give you an idea how effective and efficient real estate could be when it comes to fulfilling of your dream to become a multimillionaire. But before that, guys, I want to talk something about at latest data, latest statistics, because this is a very important piece of information which I did not want to miss. So I incorporated this discussion in between so that we can have a little informative session about the real picture, what exactly has been happening in the real estate industry right now, especially in GTA. So in July 2020, in spite of all the COVID problem and everything, 11,081 houses got sold in GTA, which was up 29.5% from 2019. Yes, it was up 29.5% from 2019, not from the month of June, but as compared to last year, and you all know, last year market was really, really amazing at that time. Now, if I look at average price, average home sale price in GTA, that is up close to 17%, 16.9% exactly from 2019. So, if I look at the number of sales, 29.5%, and if I look at Average home price, 16.9% up as compared to July 2019. Now, average property days in markets in 416 area is 23. Average sale price to listing ratio, that is very, very interesting, 102%. 102%. That tells me that there's a lot of multiple offer situation going on. Now, average sold price of a fully detached home in 416 area, in 416 area, which is predominantly Toronto area and all that stuff, is 1.5 million 41,000. 1.5 million 41,000. An average price of a semi-detached is 1 million 181,000. So these two segments of detached and semi-detached really had done amazing as far as the number of sales are concerned and the price is concerned. So, now let's look at the condo markets in 416 area. So, average sold price of a condo is $682,999. So, these are a few of the interesting stats. Now, if I look at the sales for last three previous years for comparison, 
And if you look at the month of July, you can see July was such an amazing month. Either I look at one of the hottest market in real estate industry, which was 2017, 2018, 19, and 20. So if you start looking at from January, January we were lower, February we were lower as compared to 2017, and March we were lower as compared to 2017. Of course, April, May, and June, I don't take into consideration because at that point of time, we were facing the problem of COVID and it was not a level playing field for buyers and sellers at all. So if I look at July, last three years and 2020, we are just little short of two months, which was March and April, 2017 and you know friends at that time what was happening to the market so if i look at all these stats and data it really gives me an idea that where we stand in terms of the strength of the market now let's look at three previous year for com uh, comparison uh, sales to new listing ratio and again if i look at july and I compare it with last three years. We are in a pretty balanced shape as far as sales to new listing ratio is concerned. Now, that is the average resale home price as compared to last three years. And you can see we are very well above average from almost last three years. So either we take sales or we take average price, we take number of days in the market, or we take listing to sales ratio. In all those aspects, I see 2017 and 2020, they are pretty much either at par or 2020 is better. And 2017, we all know with the previous data that 2017 was one of the best year for the real estate industry. If in July 2020, we are at par or better than that year. It means we are going in the right direction as far as the real estate is concerned. Now, friends, I'm pretty sure this data will give you a little bit more idea that how you have to behave in a present market scenario, either it comes to buying or selling. Now, let me take you to a real life example of creating real estate wealth how we can create real estate wealth for somebody. Now here, I have put an example there just by showing $100,000 as an example. Uh, again, this $100,000 figure, I took it just to ensure everybody can understand it. And I just wanted to take a very simple figure, of course, in today's market, you will not get anything for 100,000. But this is what I learned during the course of my real estate journey or my business portfolio or my real estate portfolio, I should say, that whatever works on 100 is definitely works for 1,000. And whatever works for 1,000 definitely works for 100,000 as well. So what I have done is I have divided this 100,000 into five properties. And as you all know, with 20% down payment, that is what the criteria which I have considered. So if I divide that 100,000 into five properties after a duration of almost around 10 years, that 20,000 is going to be converted into 100,000. So if I just put that example in all those five properties, so your $100,000 has been converted into 500,000 after 10 years. Now we have just put some uh, logical numbers to it and we have put our own formula to it, which I will explain you very soon with a real life example. But this example was just to give you an idea, just to make you understand that how through real estate investment, you can create wealth for yourself. So if you have $100,000 and you start investing into properties, I have divided that 100,000 into five properties and took a time period of approximately 10 years, which I was very, very conservative. And that 100,000 can be converted easily 
to 500,000, which is almost five times the money, what you have invested. And I think it's not a bad return. If after five years, I can convert my 100,000 to 500,000. Now, let me give you a real life, real estate investing success story. This story belongs to one of our clients. And it's a real life example. Now, this client bought a property in 2007. Now, I'll show you how that little money get converted within 30 years, 13 years to a millionaire portfolio. So the buying price of the property, which this gentleman bought was 155. And we sold that property to 200,000. So there was a profit of $45,000 into that property. Now the sold price, we took into the consideration after all the expenses and everything. And even in the buying price, we have added the closing cost and all other aspects. Now with that money, whatever he got from there, so he bought a property which was bought for 269,000. And after two or three years, that property was sold on 308,000. Because you know, at that time, 2007 and 2008, this was the price of the properties. Now from the same equity, we bought on another property, which was 255,000. And after a couple of years, that property was sold on 445,000. Again, in both of these examples, the sold price which we are putting up there after all the expenses and everything. So you can very well understand that how we can take that money from one property and can buy multiple properties with that. Same is in the other example on the other side, there was another property which was bought for this client for 455,000 and sold for 555. So there was a hundred thousand dollar profit and another property was bought from for him in 510,000 and sold for 810,000. And when we sold these two properties, which you can see on your right hand side, we bought them a property, which was $1.3 million, which is actually their principal residence at this point of time. And the two properties, which we sold over there, uh, we bought on another property, which was, on 455,000, but is worth close to a million dollar. Now, starting from a very small amount of 155,000 purchase price of that property, so you can understand, even if we put 20% down payment over there, the investment was around $30,000. And the $30,000 built up an equity within 13 years of $1.6 million. And the total profit which was generated from there was 679,000. So that is what the real power of real estate. So how a small amount of money and how with the smart investment, you can make yourself a millionaire. And friends, this is what the dream I carry for myself. In next five years, by 2025, we are going to create 1,000 millionaire, 1,000 millionaire under Save Max portfolio. I know it might be a big aspiration, which you might think, but trust me, this is what my real definition of success when we make our people successful, then I think is the real success story which you can carry with yourself for whole of your life. So I'm pretty sure this might have given you a little idea how a small equity, how a small amount of money can be converted into a million dollar portfolio. And this is what I wanted to present to you, my friends. This is a very lengthy topic. And if I have to go deep into the detail, I really have to spend a lot of time with all of you. But if you have that aspiration to become that millionaire investor or a millionaire realtor or a millionaire agent, we offer over 
platform to you. SafeX platform has been designed and built with a clear cut vision that we want to create more and more success, not only for our realtor fraternity, but for our investor clients as well and for our buyers and sellers. And I think I have heard it somewhere. If you want to be successful in your life, make sure you have a good doctor, good lawyer, and a good realtor on your sites. With this calculations and this number, I'm pretty sure you might have got a little bit idea. And this was a real life example, which I shared with you, how with the small amount of money and this, we are showing one part of the portfolio of this particular individual, because this is not the complete portfolio. This portfolio, I'm showing it, what we have created with that one property. So if I, if I show you the complete portfolio of this gentleman, it would be maybe worth close to $10 million today. So friends, thank you very much for joining us today. I can see a lot of our friends who are with us on this live session. Uh, I would also like to encourage all of you, if you have any questions or any uh, concerns which you want to clarify, you can definitely send it to me on my cell phone number, which is 647-225-5780. Or you can directly put up your questions on my social media page as well, uh, on Rise with Raman or my personal profile, as well as on Save Max uh, Facebook page. It is always my endeavor to bring some knowledge, some information, whatever I have gained in this small tenure whenever I am in this country and sharing my real estate story with you, my investment portfolio with you, so that that might give you an idea that I am one among you, right? If a person like me can understand the value of real estate and can build up a success story onto it, I'm pretty sure it is not hard for anybody to do so. The only thing what you have to do is you have to first realize and understand how you are going to move forward onto this. And then you have to find out a right set of people who are there to help you, to make you understand and to guide you to put you into the right direction. So I have got a couple of questions here. Uh, before that, I can see a lot of people who are joining us. Gurmeet is with us, Harjeet, uh, Mr. Kuldeep Sharda, uh, Selva is uh, with us as well, Anuradha, uh, Mr. Salim. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Salim, for uh, your encouragement. I'm pretty sure uh, this session might have given you some good idea uh, thank you, Dharmesh, for uh, giving me an encouragement to bring all this information. Thank you, Pinakin. Pinakin is an amazing team member, uh, you know, a very enthusiastic and energetic team member of SaveMax Group. Um, and uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, Pinakin, I, am, I, I really get impressed with you so many times, the kind of smile and energy which you have on your face that really motivates a lot many other people. And you are going to be a success story in real estate industry. Uh, thank you, Yamini, for, uh, for watching with us as well. So friends, I have a couple of questions. Uh, please don't hesitate. If you have any questions, uh, you can send it to me at 647-225-5780. Uh, and also, I would request you to go and like my Facebook page, uh, Rise with Raman, and as well as my YouTube channel with the same name, Rise with Raman. And we try our level best to bring you all this interesting information and knowledge with all of you. Uh, thank you, Ravi. He is a, he's a regular joining of our Saturday session and always encourage me with his wonderful comments and remarks. Uh, Ravi, I really, really appreciate you becoming part of our session every week without fail. 
So friends, now it's a question answer time. So I have a question here from Anna. She wants to know that I am working in one of the in company as an so Anna has a question. She is working in one of the company as an administrative assistant and she wants to join the real estate field. She has put some uh, very interesting remarks over here. She said, I'm really aspired that you want to make 1000 millionaires and I want to become one of them. And I, I really want you to become a millionaire and be a part of my vision or my dream. Uh, it is very easy to do real estate course, Anna. Uh, you can uh, def, uh, either get in touch with us or you can go and do a Google search uh, because right now at this point of time, they have started doing the course with the Humble College earlier. It was done by Ontario Real Estate Association. So you have to complete five exams over there, five courses, and then you have to register yourself with the brokerage. And especially those people who are in the field of sales and customer service, I think this is an amazing profession for you guys. And, and I would definitely love to see you as one of the millionaire under Save Max Banner, either as an agent or as an investor. Uh, thank you, Manish. Future condo market. So Manish wants to know about the future condo markets. And uh, thank you, Mr. Gurvinder. Uh, thank you, Manish, uh, for bringing this topic, uh, especially like, you know, the condo market. I was actually having a, a, a golf session yesterday with one of a very prominent builder and a uh, couple of high-end people who deal in real estate industry. And this was our topic of discussion because this developer, they have done recently five developments in, in, in Toronto itself. And majority of their developments, they were amazing. And this is over, this was the part of our core discussion that where do we see the condo market in coming two, three or five years? Now, if I look at the short term aspect of the condo market friends, there could be only one problem which can hit it hard and that could be a second wave of COVID. The second wave of COVID, if it happens sooner or later, that is definitely going to tumble the confidence of the investor in the real estate market. But as far as the Canadian real estate market and then especially GTA, I think the impact is not going to be that much. The simple reason behind that is, it is about the demographics. It is about the kind of people are there in GTA market. And if we look at the demographics, it is more of South Asian community and uh, either it is Indian, Pakistanis, Bangladeshis, uh, and Chinese community. So these communities, they have a habit of saving because we all come from the economies where it is not credit economy. We, we lived in a cash economy. So we had a habit of saving. Uh, that habit of saving makes us a good investors as well. Of course, I'm not saying, um, about the other communities, of course, every community have their own, uh, uh, you know, uh, thought process and, uh, you know, cultural things. And uh, I would say financial and economical aspects of life. Uh, but this is what a small part, what I understood about the GTA market, which makes it different as compared to the other markets. So because of that particular reason, whenever any problem or any challenge comes, because of the saving habit of these communities, which is predominantly uh, lives in GTA and, across, and and surroundings. I don't see any good reason that the market is going to get down in near future. But of course, we have to keep our finger crossed, especially with the second wave of COVID-19. Uh, at this point of time, if I have to comment on the condo market, I can see a six to 8% growth in the price. And of course, number of sales is already going up. Either it is Toronto or it is uh, Mississauga or any other surrounding areas. And even this developer and other 
real estate industry tycoons, they all were of the same opinion that we don't foresee any big problem. Either it is a condo market or it is the low rise market. Of course, pre-construction and resale, uh, many of these condos uh, comes as a new development and there's a lot of demand out over there. Uh, we have also bringing uh, broad and another beautiful project in Oakville, uh, which is handled by SaveMax team. Uh, this is one of an amazing location, close to 403, uh, easy access to uh, uh, QEW, uh, 30 minutes run to uh, Toronto downtown. Uh, Sheridan College is close by. So it's a, it, has, it has an amazing and interesting features in that particular project. Also, the price point is really good. Only 438000 is the starting price in Oakville. And we are getting you the parking and locker just for $10,000. So this is an amazing opportunity. If somebody wants to invest in that particular project in Oakville, please don't hesitate to get in touch with our SaveMax team. Uh, thank you, Mr. Dylan, for your encouragement. Thank you, uh, Ms. Sira, for the encouragement. Now I have another question. So Anna, I'm pretty sure I answered your question and you're more than welcome to get in touch with Team Save Max if you want to know more about joining the real estate industry as well. And Manish, uh, I can send you some statistics and data as well uh, to give you a little bit more idea about the prediction of condo market in 2020. So friends, I have a couple of other questions, but uh, I have an, another important meeting which I have to attend sharp at 12.50. And today evening, we are going to do a little small event for our Orangeville office as well. We have just recently opened up another office in Orangeville, which is managed, which is being managed by our two dynamic personalities, Lacey, and Corbin Purchase. They are the flag bearer of SaveMax brand in North and uh, they are doing an amazing job. So if you want to uh, do any real estate transactions, either in Orangeville or in Shelburne or in the Northern side, get in touch with Lacey and Corbin. Um, of course, you will see them more frequent in my live sessions in coming weeks. Uh, right now, they are so busy in setting up the new office, uh, making sure to give top of the line services to our clients who are in Orangeville and Shelburne area as well. So very soon they will be joining us in these live sessions as well. So I have to take your permission for today and uh, the rest of the questions, I have a question from Mr. Dylan as well. Uh, I have a question from Manpreet uh, as well as I have a question from uh, Mr. Vivek. So all these questions, guys, I'm going to call you. I'm going to uh, spend a little time with you to make you understand about uh, how the real estate investment and real estate portfolios can be built up. Thank you very much, guys, friends, for joining for today's session. I'm sure this helped you to get a little bit more information and more confidence about the real estate investment. If you want to make your own portfolio, uh, we can definitely uh, schedule up a confidential one-on-one -on -one consultation. Looking into your profile, we can guide you what could be the best options for you. Stay safe with your family. Enjoy your weekend. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so, Rise with Raman. And you can also go and like my page on Facebook, Rise with Raman. Don't forget to join me every morning, early morning sessions, where I talk about a little bit motivational stuff and try my level best to make my day with a good start and your day with a good start. Have an amazing weekend. Stay safe. Enjoy with your families. And we will see you next week, sharp at 12 p.m. Till then, goodbye.